it's your girl Shauna J. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video was requested by one of my beautiful subscribers. She wanted me to review Gucci Bloom. So this is a new release from the house of Gucci that everybody's going crazy over. So let's get into this review. Okay guys, so Bloom is the latest release from the House of Gucci. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the notes. So here we go. The notes in this perfume are natural sandal jasmine, heady tuberose, forest roots, and Chinese honeysuckle. Hey guys, so every now and then a fragrance comes out, everybody's talking about it, everybody's buzzing, and everybody's buzzing about Bloom. Now, is it worth the hype? Now, you know on my channel, I give you guys my honest, honest review, and this review will be no different. This has to be one of the most floral scents that I've ever smelled. Like, I love white florals. If you follow my channel, you know that I say that all the time. I love a beautiful white floral. So this should be something that I really like, right? Okay, so what I get the most from this is tuberose. There's no way you could smell this and not smell tuberose. It smells gorgeous. It smells gorgeous from the nozzle. What I get is tuberose, jasmine, and I do get a little honeysuckle, which gives it a little bit of sweetness. And I'm so happy that they put honeysuckle in this one because tuberose can be such a sharp, strong, you know, heady, aggressive white floral. And I think that it really needed that honeysuckle to kind of give it a little bit sweetness, you know, just to calm it down a little bit, just to make it a little bit more smooth. Jasmine is in this one. Um, I'm not sure if Jas Jasmine got lost in this one. I smell something a little bit green and sometimes Jasmine has a little way of smelling green. And I do smell that one. So to me, this smells like an actual flower. I could smell stems and let me know if you guys smell that too. When you apply this one, I actually smell stems. I smell something really sharp and really green. I'm not sure if that's coming from the jasmine. It could be coming from jasmine um, or it could be coming from the tuberose it itself. I do get something a little bit powdery and I think the orris root is responsible for that. Uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a really rich, rich floral. One of the richest florals that I've smelled. Now, it's kind of unfair for me to review this perfume because I, unfortunately, I do not like tuberose. I think it's just such a heady floral. You have to really like heady florals to enjoy this one. But, for the, but that's just when the fragrance just starts out. As it dries down, this is when I really start to like the scent. It smells really clean and pure. And instead of getting really musky or, you know, sweet or vanillic or, you know, they didn't add any patchouli, which I'm just so happy about. Instead of this scent going, turning to that side, it just gets lighter and prettier. It smells like you're just smelling an actual flower. Bloom is a very linear fragrance. It does not change much from its original scent. It basically gets lighter. As Bloom begins to progress, the woody notes become more apparent. It smells really good. I, this one to me is com comparable to Michael Kors original fragrance. Um, it smells just like that and if you know that scents also smell like Kim Kardashian's original perfume and those perfume features it features um two rows so I think to, to me if you like the scent you can't afford it you could pick up Kim Kardashian's perfume maybe that's something you could try to see if you like it so what do I think about this for originality, I think I would give it out of a 10. Honestly, I would probably give this a 3 because there were two other scents that came out. I kind of feel like they jacked Michael Kors and they jacked um, Kim Kardashian. So I feel like, you know, this deserves, Gucci deserves a 3 for originality. It lasts a really, really long time. So for lasting power, I would give it a 10 out of 10. The sillage is incredible. I wore this um, today. My coworker told me that 
um, she could smell it as I walked so that means it has good sillage and she also wears this perfume and when she comes around I could also smell it. it smells really beautiful on her it's just a really beautiful floral and I really enjoy this scent except for the first few hours where the tuberose is just too small too strong it's funny because when I just spray it out I'm gonna spray it Ugh. when I just sprayed I love that smell it's like an it's like an actual flower in bloom it does have a little soapiness too so that smell is to me amazing that first burst is amazing and I think it gets points over Michael Kors because Michael Kors to me just jumps right into the tuberose this kind of it just transitions into the that tuberose smell so I really like this more but the, I think the mid face is what I'm not crazy about but guys all together I'm picky so you know you can't really take my word for it I'm really picky but to me this is a really nice scent if you like tuberose if you like fresh scents soapy scents if you like something that smells really really floral something that smells really realistic and natural go for this scent I really really like it um how much would I give this scent out of 10 I would give this a 7 out of 10 if I could place a number on it so yeah but you know there's a lot of other reviews here on YouTube so check those out um, get other people's opinion this is just my opinion um, a lot of people love this scent I have two co-workers that go crazy over this scent so obviously it's a really nice perfume but you have to like two girls okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this review I hope I give you an idea of what the scent smells like so like I said, it's comparable to Michael Kors, Kim Kardashian's original perfume. So if you know what those smell like, you pretty much know what this smell like. This smells more expensive. It smells more put together. It smells, well, it smells more developed. It smells more wearable than the other two perfumes that I mentioned. So it has that over those other two perfumes. I, if, if, if I could choose any scent out of all three scents, I would actually choose Bloom. So that's my review on this scent. I hope you guys enjoy it. That's all the time I have. I love you guys so much. Bye.